accusing Chad's military ruler General Mohammad Idris Dabi of flouting election rules and launching his campaign before the official starting date Sunday. Dabi, who, is, who seized power after the death of his father in 2021, is attempting to cement his rule with a victory in the presidential election next month. Moki Edwin Kenzeka reports from a neighboring Cameroon. Several hundred people, a majority from Chad's Patriotic Salvation Movement or MPS party, applaud as transitional president General Mohamed Idris Deby says more than 200 opposition political parties and about a thousand civil society groups have agreed to support him in the May 6th presidential election. Deby is the nominee of MPS for the presidential poll. The general said on state TV Wednesday that if elected as Chad's president, he will continue to maintain peace and develop the Central African state. Debbie says he is very happy that civilians agree he has good intentions to make Chad a country with a peaceful environment where people's rights and freedoms are respected. He says the thousand civil society groups and 200 opposition parties that support him should immediately go to the field, campaign and convince voters that he is Chad's best choice for president. Debbie said he would fight what he called endemic poverty by creating jobs and funding youth agricultural projects. But Chad's opposition accuses Debbie of illegally launching his campaign early. Lidzi Basenda is a presidential candidate of the Party for Democracy and Full Independence of Chad. She is the only female candidate in the race. She accuses Debbie of disrespecting Chad's electoral code and manipulating civilians, opposition and civil society groups to stay in office. Bisenda says nine opposition challengers have informed Chad's National Agency for the Management of Elections, ANG, or ANGE, that Debbie has launched campaigning for the first round of the presidential election before April 14, when campaigning is supposed to be launched officially as the Central African State's Constitutional Council planned. Chad's electoral body says it is examining several complaints from opposition candidates, but it provides no further details. Besemda said Chad's 8 million registered voters should not be intimidated by Deby, who wants to continue the role of his father, Idris Deby Itlo, who ruled Chad for more than 30 years. The 37-year-old Deby was proclaimed head of an army junta after rebels killed his father in 2021. The presidential election in May is meant to be a transition back to democracy. Deby initially promised an 18-month transition to elections after he seized power. He later appointed himself as the head of the transitional government. Opposition parties say he uses the military to suppress opposition voices of his leadership. Chad's opposition candidates say civilians should be vigilant and report all election malpractices to the country's elections management body. The opposition says it is calling on the international community to take note that Deby is refusing to respect democratic norms by pushing for office before campaigns are launched. The nine candidates challenging Deby in the election, who include former opposition and pro-democracy figure Success Masra, now serving as transitional prime minister, said Deby does not want to lose his family's grip on power. Deby says he will respect the verdict of the ballot and hand over power if defeated. Chad's Constitutional Council says the first round of voting is scheduled to take place on May 6 and the second round on June 22, with provisional results due on July 7. Moki, Edwin Kinzuka, VOA News, Yaoundé, Cameroon.
About 3.4 million people are in urgent need of humanitarian help in Chad following the arrival of large numbers of Sudanese refugees fleeing war. The French aid group Action Against Hunger says the eastern provinces are among the country's most vulnerable zones because they lack basic services and the inflow of refugees has dramatically worsened the situation. The French news agency AFP says the United Nations warned in March that food aid for Hundreds of thousands of people pouring out of Sudan would run out in April without international funding. The UN World Food Program appealed for 242 million in donations to avoid a disaster and continue supporting 1.2 million Sudanese refugees. Aid agencies say international funding only covers 4.5% of requirements. The vast Central African state was already one of the poorest in the world, with 1.4 million people displaced internally or from... Malian authorities on Wednesday issued a decree banning political party activities amid calls on the ruling army junta to organize elections. The announcement was made by the government's spokesperson on state television on Wednesday evening. Abolaye Maiger said the ban on political activities was made in the interest of maintaining public order. The statement did not specify any threats to public order emanating from political parties. There was no indication on when the suspension would be relifted. Mali has been under army rule since August 2020. September, the junta indicated it would renege on a promise to organize elections meant to bring back civilian rule this past February, citing technical reasons. No new election promises have been made. After the March transition de deadline passed without a vote, many political parties and civil society organizations reacted by demanding elections. Togo has rescheduled parliamentary and regional elections for April 29th after be delaying the ballot over a highly contested constitutional reform. The announcement was made Tuesday after a cabinet meeting. Elections were initially scheduled on April 13th before being postponed to April 20th. Togo's parliament voted in late March to transition the nation from a presidential to a parliamentary system. First with public outcry, the presidency ordered the constitutional reform back to parliament. In early April, President Forel Gnasigbe met members of the Bureau of the National Assembly and urged them to take into account all contributions susceptible to enrich the Constitution. The National Assembly's Bureau therefore expressed the need for more consultations over the reform, which led to a new proposed Constitution which was passed on March 25th, grants Parliament the power to choose the president dueling away with direct elections. Instead of a renewable five-year term, the postponed bill restricts the power of future presidents and introduces a one-term limit. The reform hands over a greater power to a figure similar to that of prime minister, officially called the president of the council of ministers. This individual will either be the leader of the party which secures the majority during the legislative elections or the leader of the winning coalition of parties. The government said on Tuesday a planned three-day protest this week over the arrest of opposition figures and new legislation scrapping present elections was illegal, a move that heightened tensions in the West African nation that has been ruled by the same family for almost 60 years. <laughs> 